I hope most of you are aware of Coughlin 666, Richard the Dick Coughlin. When I watch his vids, he almost always looks me straight in the eye and asks me how I'm doing. And when he does, it touches my heart. I feel a warm, fuzzy feeling for him toward him, so that when I watch his vid, no matter how much of an asshole he is, to whomever, I'm on his side. Now you may know that he recently has created a series entitled, Why the Nazis are a Joke. And I'm sure everyone is familiar with the work of Thunderfoot. Remarkable stuff. Why people laugh at creationists. Well, that got me thinking. I've decided to make a series, which will probably consist of just this one video, of why people laugh at the dick. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to talk your ear off with analysis. I want you to watch this video and at the end there will be an annotation with a link to one of Coughlin's 666 videos. Click that link and watch his vid and I think you'll know immediately why people laugh at the dick also know after heller that the second amendment right is not unlimited we know that it does not allow an individual to possess a firearm for con for confrontation in any place and any manner that individual chooses or for any reason and we also know that there are a category of regulations that fall outside the scope of the Second Amendment, the sensitive places um, label that the Heller Court, um, the, the moniker that, that the Heller Court established. Your, your opposing counsel specifically referred to the sensitive places passage. What, what's your response? Your Honor, our response is that the county fairgrounds is a sensitive place and that that determination can be made based on the record before this court. The first undisputed fact in the Statement of Undisputed Facts before the District Court, and this is at page 436 of the record, was that on July 4th, 1998, the year prior to the adoption of this ordinance, there was a shooting on the County Fairgrounds that injured eight people, and there were many others who were injured in the resulting melee. Also undisputed is the fact that many public events are held on the county fairgrounds. Furthermore, pursuant to the condemnation order in 1965 by which the county took fee title to the property, it is required that the property be used for a public purpose. Also, with respect to the plaintiff shows, there is no dispute, this is fact, undisputed fact number 35, that plaintiff shows involve thousands of firearms being brought on to public property and that at least 4,000 individuals attend their gun shows. Based on those undisputed facts, it would seem that the county fairgrounds is a sensitive place that falls outside of the reach of the Second Amendment as construed in Heller. Another reason why the Second Amendment is not even implicated here is because the Heller majority recognized that the core of the Second Amendment right is the right of self-defense. There is not a word in the record that any plaintiff wishes to bring a firearm onto county property for the purpose of defending himself or herself. Uh, Council, Judge Gould, I have a question for you on that. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, it, actually, two related questions. The first is, if individuals, as Heller says, they have a right to bear arms for self-defense, don't they necessarily have to have a uh, corollary right to buy the firearms, to buy them somewhere. And then second question, does the record that was made on the 
First Amendment issues tell us uh, what opportunities are available uh, to buy firearms in places other than the gun shows on county property? Your Honor, with respect to the first question, is, the, is there a corollary right that ensues from Heller, a right to buy firearms? Heller's language does not lead to the conclusion that there is such a corollary right for several reasons. Uh, first of which is that Heller recognized that regulation of the sale of commercial firearms is presumed valid, and it, therefore it would seem that those regulations on the sale of firearms fall outside of the reach of the Second Amendment as um, that's the current state of the law. Secondly, is I, um, the county ordinance does not restrict the sale of firearms, as I had mentioned earlier. I, I wasn't quite sure, uh, I didn't really understand your question with respect to the First Amendment, Your Honor, I'm sorry. Well, does the record that was made on the First Amendment claim tell us what opportunities uh, people have to buy guns other than at a gun show? Other than at a gun show, no. But gun shows can be held, I would note, on private property. At least the ordinance before this court does not prohibit gun shows on private property within Alameda County. I think there are two undisputed facts in the record, fact 33 and 34, which are found at page 444 of the record that bear, I think, indirectly in response to Your Honor's question. Fact 33 was that the Nordikes held multiple gun shows in California in 2005, and fact 34 was that there were 22 gun shows in California in 2005. So those gun shows would have presumably provided an opportunity for the purchase of firearms. Thank you. 